the number of zebras in a population in 2018 was 1.27 times the number of zebras in this population in 2014. If the number of zebras in this population in 2014 is p percent of the number of zebras in this population in 2018, what is the value of p raised to the whole nearest whole number? Okay, so let's model the two populations. So in 2014, let's say the population is equal to x. And in 2018, let's say the population is equal to y. So we're given that the population in 2018, which is y, is 1.27 times the population in 2014. So that means y, the population in 2018, is 1.27 times the population in 2014, which is x. And then we're also given that the number of zebras in 2014 is p percent of the number of zebras in 2018. So that's saying the population 2014 x is equal to p percent of y since x is the population 2014 and that is p percent of the population in 2018 which is y. And so we can rewrite this percentage to just x equals p over 100 since that would give us the percentage in decimal form, times the population in y, and that would give us x. So now we have two equations, and we can see that we can rewrite this equation, and we can rewrite this equation, uh, this equation with this value of y. So if we plug this in, we'll get that x is equal to p over 100, but instead of using just y here, we'll use this value of y, which says that y is 1.27 times x. 1.27 times x. So now, since we know that x is non-zero, we can just divide that from both sides. And if we do that, we'll divide this side by x and this side by x. On the left-hand side, Let's move it up here. We'll be left with 1. And on the right-hand side, we'll be left with p times 1.27 divided by 100. So now we can just multiply both sides by 100. This will give us 100 equals p times 1.27. And then we can divide both sides by 1.27. This will, so if we put that into our calculator, 100 divided by 1.27 1. 1. equals 78, 78.7, and that equals the value of p. So from these two equations that we wrote using the facts given in the problem, the value of p is 78.7, but the question asks us for the nearest whole number for the value of p. So the nearest whole number is 79, so the value of p is approximately 79.